Okay, you're saying this is well and great, but what if I started with a really long program and I wanted to move a function out? I don't want to have to go through the program and sit here and put my functions dot in front of every single function call that I make to that other library. It's not what I want at all. There is a way to manage to import my functions such that I don't have to stick my functions in front of every function call that I make. And the way to do that is redo this line from my functions import star. If I do that instead of this, I don't want to do them both, this will mean take everything, this being a wildcard, and import it such that I don't need to do this. Let's go ahead and take out my functions and run it. And with this different type of import function, then I don't need to stick my functions in front of it. Now, there are technical terms for how this works, and let's go over that. Okay, now I've got both versions of my program, one in comments and the original one not in comments. What's going on here is that when I do import my functions, my functions becomes a namespace. This is called namespace. Great term to throw around. You'll really impress all your friends with your computer knowledge when you can start talking about namespace. If you want to impress your date while you're out on a date, bring up the word namespace somehow, sort of slip that into the conversation. It'll work really well, guarantee it. When I've imported my functions, I've created a my functions namespace, and anytime I want to call the foo function, I need to tell it do so out of this namespace which looks a whole lot like stating that I want to grab something out of my functions type of class, but it is different. In this case, we're talking about a namespace, whereas if I were to do dog.bark, we're talking about the class. They're both working with the dot operator to access the individual items inside of either the class, or in this case, the different module, library, whatever you want to call it. We're accessing the foo function out of the my functions namespace, which I've imported right up here. If instead I do the other function from my functions import star, this imports into what's called the local namespace. Something imported into the local namespace does not need to specify the namespace and therefore I can call the foo function directly without doing namespace dot foo. This imports local namespace. This specifies I'm importing and I'm going to create a my functions namespace. Now why on earth would I care about that? Say I've got a function such as student report. This student report is just going to print all the grades of a particular student and I've named that function print report. Seems like a logical name to call it. Print report and it prints a student grade report. I won't really print out any student grades. I think people get upset when I do that for some reason. And I'm going to call this student functions.py. Now in my main program, I'm going to import student functions. And I'm going to go ahead and instead of importing it this way, I'm going to import it into the local namespace so I don't have to worry about that. From student functions import star and then I'm going to be able to do the print report function run the program and it does the student grade report down here just like I expect now if in addition to worrying about a student's grades I wanted to worry about the students financials I might have another file and it might have something like print report but this time it prints a financial report I'm gonna go ahead and save this call this financial functions. Works a whole lot better if you use underscores and not spaces when you save your names, particularly when you're doing imports. I've now saved the financial report and if in my main program I go over here and do from financial functions import star 
my college print report, is it going to print the student report for grades or is it going to reprint the financial report? Well, when I go ahead and run this, I can see that it prints out the financial report, basically ignoring the student report and replacing it with the financial report because what I have is called a name collision. I have two items that are named the exact same thing. The way I get around that is by using the other type of import, import student functions, import financial functions. Then I can do student functions dot print report and financial functions dot print report. Oh, looks like I got a typo here. It's not students functions. It's just student functions. Go ahead and run it again. There we go. It prints both reports. I have both accessible to me. And the reason they are both accessible is the fact that I've got two different namespaces here. This is a namespace. This is a namespace. And I refer to the different functions with their respective namespaces, allowing me to keep them separate and not having a collision of similarly named functions.